Welcome back to Bitsby Trippin. If you're a new subscriber or just stumbled onto this video, do not click away. We're going to show you a cool implementation using the blockchain to tie a digital asset to a unique serial number. And we think our implementation is kind of cool. The approach we are taking is to provide a service that links a real world asset with a serial number to a cryptographically unique asset on the Ravencoin distributed decentralized blockchain, but taking it a bit further by expanding the options on what you can actually do once you have a digital representation of that physical asset. Having this digital record creates a whole new range of opportunities when linking various activities that you choose to share. Think of it like having Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook for a particular asset that you could digitally sign when posting that it occurred with that asset. So what's BBT really doing here? I'm going to explain in the best way I can articulate that blockchains in fact serve far more than just cryptocurrencies and tokens for fiduciary purposes, but can also augment existing processes related to information. And what a better way to help contribute to that through building and not just telling you through videos, but showing you a real no kidding example in practice. Creating a digital representation of a device on a blockchain is different in many ways than just having a serial number in some database with a company. Having the linkage to an asset allows for many new things to occur in a cryptographically proven way effectively creates a view of a life cycle in this case with the boring not a flamethrower if other products at a later date were included using this type of process you essentially could create a history that's tied to a specific serial number over a timeline and then marry that up at some other point with the identity of the owners now in this example we're not going to be getting into identity this is just the registration of the device so why does this matter this creates a whole new possibility of sharing with the device that you have currently this is done normally on social media sites where the content is centered around you as the participant not so much the device itself in this example we are proposing that your boring not a flamethrower can have its own history and you can track that fun that you've had with that particular device digital link to the serial number this provides the option to single out the device itself and show a historical lineage of its use and fun now again this is only with what you choose to share it isn't designed to be a means of full accountability of the device. If you wanted to sell it at some point or give it to a family member, you could transfer the digital asset with the physical transaction, which would have its linkage on the chain, which would not only post the fact that you had the transaction on the Ravencoin network, but then you would inherit all that original history. Bottom line, it gives you an independent, non-centralized layer to store digitally signed transactions and validation of the fun that you chose to share about that particular device. Lastly, by chance, if you went through this service with a device and someone happens to stumble upon it in the distant future, you could simply look up the serial number and be provided with a roadmap of any information that was ever shared about it, what was posted about it, and any other cool videos that were shared. There's no worry of some centralized web server for some company. If it went away, you would have a decentralized on the blockchain history about the device itself. Now that we know why we created this, let's talk quickly on how it works regarding getting your boring, not a flamethrower registered. First, navigate to www.bitsbytrippin.io. Hit the store and then under the services selection, select the boring Ravencoin asset link certification. Add this to cart and upon checkout, you will be asked to send an image of your flamethrower, including the serial number in view as part of your purchase, along with a valid Ravencoin address, which is where your digital assets will be sent. You can get a Ravencoin address via mobile wallet, both on Android and Apple stores, and of course on Mac, Windows, and Linux OSs. Now we will take that image that you send over and run it through a duplication check through an open source tools that verifies against a large range of images on the internet to ensure the uniqueness of the image that you had sent over. That image then is placed in a form and published to IPFS, which gives us a unique hash. That unique hash transaction along with the original image is sent back to you in a new form that shows the time date stamp of the transaction and the information that was sent to you via email. You'll be asked to open that up on a phone a computer screen or just print it and take a new image with that verification form showing your device also. This gives us the level of confidence that you physically have the serial number in your immediate presence. That final step lets us create a unique serial number bonded asset on the Ravencoin network that we will include the final certification report within a blockchain transaction and IPFS storage that becomes publicly verifiable on the Ravencoin Asset Explorer. All the tokens are then transferred to the customer's account that signify their digital ownership of that asset. The current development phases of this service right now is the following. Phase one is effectively completed. This was our minimally viable product. It was self-funded by Bitsby Trippin, 
It includes the verification process, the asset linkage through unique token creation on the Ravencoin network, and associate postings to IPFS. Phase 2 is predicated on at least selling 500 of these packages, about 2.5% of the devices. This would allow us to make the timeline view and make good use of the 500 tokens for posting digitally signed transactions of assets that link to IPFS, effectively the timeline view. Phase 3 matches up about 2,500 of the 20,000 devices, about 12.5%. I know that's a stretch target, but it allows us to then have the amount of funding that would be needed to do reverse lookups based on unique token assets and creating the framework around API development to allow third-party applications and dApps to link back to historical lineage and create cool tools such as mobile wallets that you could do swiping that links a digitally signing of a particular event that you're recording straight to chain. Now, even if you don't own a boring, not a flamethrower, hopefully this basic use case has helped challenge your mind on what's possible on the blockchain space. To dismiss the opportunity and say, well, I could do that in a database is missing the entire point of what blockchains bring in value when it comes to information. Databases, even in a federated and distributed fashion, ultimately still have a centralized control by somebody. Creating a linkage to a physical asset, once you have that private key to that asset, you can now digitally sign the information being presented and represented across the physical asset lineage. While a flamethrower is a fun example, this could mean big things for other collectibles, such as PSA certified baseball cards, or coin collections, or even something like vehicles with VINs. It's about augmenting the existing authentication services with a tool that allows providence, changes, and updates to sit on a set of rails that are not just in multiple company databases, but are shared across a blockchain for new views to that information that could be laterly cryptographically linked to items like identity services to establish ownerships within the identity space as it embraces blockchain technology. Looking forward to your comments and help us share this example.